at least five inches, five, six inches deep. Oh gosh, that sun makes the world a difference. Alright, little shell. It's not as deep as I thought it was. There we go, I got one. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Alright! First largey through the ice. That's nice. First largey through the ice of the year. 2018. Man, we're we're dealing with some bone chilling temperatures. It's it's like four degrees out, negative 15 wind chill. Probably got snot all over my face, but getting them on the waxies and the jigs. That is my first ice fishing fish of the year, of this season actually. So pretty pumped about that. Alright, let's let it go. It's a good start. I've only been out here like five minutes. Ice is not as thick as I thought. I think the snow has really insulated it from keeping it from thickening up, but it's cold. Let's see if we can get another one. Tell you what, there is no better way to warm up than catching a fish, for sure. Man, everything's freezing. Look at that. You broke my jig. I don't know if you can see that. Well, son of a gun. Fortunately, I got more with me, but he broke my tungsten jig. These things are expensive. Well, you know what? Why don't we do this? There's bass in the area. I got a little Swedish pimple here on my other rod. Why don't we try using that? We go after something a little bigger. Maybe there's bigger bass in the area. Try the pimple. It's really not very deep. We're only sitting about five and a half feet of water here. First largey of the year. That's awesome. January 2nd. There we go. There's got to be another bass. Oh, got to be. Oh, gotta be another bass. Really good head shakes. Oh my gosh, it's a big bass. Holy cow. Oh my god. Come here, come here, bud. Give me your face. Give me your face. Oh, he just came off. Oh my god, I was being an idiot. Oh my god. Well, that's a good way to lose a four pounder. That's sickening. I just didn't want to shove my hand in there. But it's so damn cold. All I kept thinking about was, I don't want to shove my hand in there. Oh, huge red mark, flash quick, and was on it so fast. That would have been the biggest bass I ever caught through the ice, for sure. There's another one. It's a little more bass. Okay. Another guy. Man, getting a bass today. This is awesome. I usually don't have that much luck with with bass out here, but. There he goes. Tell you what, I got a lot of water. And even, even this hole, it's kind of concerning. Oh, there's another fish down there. Three bass in this one spot is pretty darn good. Forgot how quick GoPro batteries die in the winter. There we go. <laughs> okay, a little different than what I was catching before. He's gone. Okay, I'm stuck. What's going on here? I'm stuck. There we go. Got something. Oh, little gill. Really little gill. Yeah, such a little guy. Oh. Alright, I think we're gonna move a little bit. We might drill another hole. I don't mind catching bluegill, but now that I caught a couple bass today, I have to say that's uh, a lot more fun. Who would have thought? Oh my goodness, what are you doing, Mike? Two good marks. Being a doofus here. 
Alright. Let's go drill a couple more holes. Oh, we've gone through a little bit of a slump here, guys. Dug another three or four holes, and I'm really not getting any activity. I mean, nothing in some of these holes, so I really didn't plan to be out fishing too long today. So I really want to fish the other lake on the other side of the road. I've never ice fished over there. I ice fished here a little bit last winter. There we go. Oh, here's a better gill. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful gill. That's a much better size. I will, I'll take that all day long. It's a nice gill. I don't know, what's that? Take seven inches. There it goes. I don't wax you back on there. Doing this with gloves is so hard. Having fingers at work is also nice. This frozen. Yes. Guides are frozen again. All right, five minutes. And then we're leaving this lake. Gonna drill maybe one or two holes in another lake. And then we're calling it quits because this is about as long as I wanted to be out. All right. That wasn't quite five minutes, but I'm done. All right. Guys, I've actually seen some activity down there. I got something. Hey, little bass. Little guy. This is one of the smallest bass I've ever caught out of this lake, for sure. Okay, fellas, we're back. Oh no! That was a good one. There we go. A little bit of man, whatever hit me before was big. So hit the, uh, the pimple. Right. Oh, all right, guys, it's absolutely freezing, but I just got one of these. I have no idea what that is. It's like a carp or a shiner or something and it's been playing with my bait for a while and I finally got it thankfully and I'm gonna take some pictures and let this guy go it's it's pretty I let him go it's, honestly it's like a golden shiner like I know guys use those for bait around here seriously that looks like a shiner that people use for bait it just grew up there's some kids cleaning off the ice, just a little bit further down from me, but I think they're going to play a little bit of hockey. <laughs> okay, well that's why I'm having a struggle here. So I'm catching bluegill that are five inches long. I should be using these guys as bait. It's been all over the place today. I've got, got bass, I've got weird shiner, i got tiny bluegill, bigger bluegill, small bass, big bass. I mean, all over the place. Keeps it exciting. I never know what I'm gonna get. I had a feeling there were some smaller bluegill. They're not very big mark on the graph. We're gonna be out here another five, ten minutes tops because it is cooling down fast. <laughs> Kid brought a, a snow blower out in the ice. Well, I should be stupid and drill another hole even though I'm, I'm thinking about leaving. Or should I go back to the other side? I'm thinking we should just go. We had a good day. It's getting cold. Although, I am tempted to, gosh, no, we're not gonna go yet. We're gonna drill one more hole, one more, and then that's it. That's pretty good size. I mean, I don't want this video to be too repetitive. So first we should catch over here is a bass. Everything since has been bluegill. 
I don't know what. I <laughs> got a little bass. Oh, this guy's skinny too. I'll to take a picture of him. He's cute. Look at that. Kind of unhealthy looking. He's a little skinny. There are so many fish right here at like six feet down. There we go. I got something. That's a little big deal. When this wax worm is gone, then we'll go. Pretty sure I could do this all day long. There's just that many fish. There's another one. You know, why don't we go back to the other hole? Go check out that other hole. Got something. That's a better ruby gill. Oh, buddy. There you go. Dang, I can't escape these little woogle. Where are the bass? There you go, bud. That's definitely not a bass. <laughs> it's insane. You might be one of the last ones on this wax one. Oh, I got it. Okay, that's it. We're done. Calling it quits. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the day. We got, ooh, we got the uh, good little frozen mustache there. Overall, good day. We caught four or five bass. We got a ton of little bluegill. And this is a lot of fun to do, despite these absolute freezing temperatures. Guys, this is super easy to do. Go get yourself an auger, a flasher, a rod, a little jig, and some wax worms in a bucket, and I guarantee you could do this too. Just be safe, be smart, and overall, though, have fun. If this isn't fun, then don't do it. Wait for that warm weather to come back. So I'll be doing a bunch more of this coming up in the next few weeks, and I'm going to be mixing in some videos from the summer, fall time when we were catching some fish on swim baits and a lot more fun stuff. So uh, to keep it a little diverse, keep it more entertaining this winter. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Winnie City Bassin signing out. Mm -hmm.